Hi guys, welcome back. Sorry, just cleaning my glasses, covered in dust. Um, right, this is a quick video today, so I know I always say that, but this one is quick. Because I was asked a question. Now, I'm, I can't for life of me remember who it actually <laughs> was, whether it was Jim or Jimmy, um, or, or one of the others. <laughs> yeah. I, I really don't know, but someone asked me about, could I do a little, he said, could I do a quick little five minute video about my spanners, okay? Like I've said before, it, I saw this about 10 years ago. Some American guy was, was using them, um, spanners for it. It's not, nothing new. It's not my idea. It's just something I saw. I think it's brilliant. So I've done it. But he asked if I could do a video for him. So I will. Right, I've got um, a 6 mil, an 8 mil, and a 10 mil. Okay? And these are my, my ones. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I haven't got a 12 mil, so I'm going to do a 12 mil. I don't want to muck about with them. I don't need another one, so I'm going to do a 12 mil one. Right, now, when you get your spanner, as you'll know, you get a longer and a shorter point. So they're like that, yeah? You don't want to sharpen the longer one. If you sharpen the longer one, what happens when you go in, there's a tendency that that's if Lisa comes onto, just onto, if you, no, if you could just go, no, 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 no hang on. If you, hang on, let me just come around to the camera for a minute. If we just go around here to the piece of wood, like you can just see it there. I'll just go like like that there. Right. So, because you're coming back to the grinder in a yeah. minute. Mm -hmm. If you go in this way, if you sharpen the long one, okay, the one that, that curves up, if you sharpen that, yeah. when you come in, it's that way it has a tendency to take too much of the tendon, tenon away. What you want to do is you want to sharpen the short one. Hold okay. A bit more. And keep that one, sorry. <laughs> keep the long one, okay? Because when you come in, what you do is you hook it under and you push down as you go in. That way this maintains contact with the wood and that one slowly goes in. That's how they work. Okay, so I'm gonna sharpen this. So this is gonna come over to it. I've just brought my grinder up here. Now this is just a cheap um Right, you coming round? Yeah. Come here, hang on. Let me just bring that round there. Let me pull that out of there. Tighten that up. Right, okay. This is just my cheapy Parkside from Lidl's, but I've got a CBM wheel on it, oh. which is a £120 wheel. Um, I'm a bit gutted, actually, because if you can see here, when I had my stuff in storage for a little while, um, when I went and got this out, I chipped it, I hit it with something, and I chipped a chunk of my, uh, I, I caught a little bit there, I chipped a little bit out, and I chipped a little bit out there on my CBM wheel. But it still works fine. I just use it for doing this sort of stuff. This is my sharpening one, and I've got another one which is perfect on a wheel over there. So, right, okay. I've just got my platform set here. Uh, no set angle, I'm just gonna come down with it here and just sharpen it. You just want to sharpen the edge up, okay? It's going to be a bit noisy as this is going to spin up. Sorry about the noise. Right. I'm coming in. Just doing this freehand. It doesn't take long. Don't get it hot. Don't get it all red hot. No blue in. Look, slowly get in there. I think that might have that. So I'll stop that. I'll let this slow down. Let me stop it. There you go. Right, okay. I think, yeah, it's got a sharp edge to it. I think that's got it enough. Right, so that's all I've done. If you can see that. Can you see it all right? Just leave it there, yeah. Right. So I've sharpened that one. Right. Okay, now we'll bring you round and I'll... If, do you want me to do that? Yeah. And I'll spin that. Spin right, I'm going to just spin the camera around a, a bit, guys. So you have to right. Get dirty <laughs> right, okay. Here we are. So now I've got you over the top. 
so you can see oh there you go over the top there that's it all right tighten everything up okay right so this is what we've got now i've taken this down as you can see it doesn't fit it's that's not 12 mil yet you normally take it down if that's going to be 12 mil take this down to about 30 mil or something get it just just close to it okay and then start up and then like i said the bottom one comes in contact first and then that's it okay there like that pushing up so i'm pushing up on the bottom one and that way it goes in if that was the top one see as i'd come in that would hit first and it would start taking it down before i've got anything to size it okay but that's that, that does the sizing like that and you can just come across with it and there you go now i've got a 12 mil tenon okay and that's that's as simple as that how that works so there you go and there you go i've got a 12 mil tenon on there now and it works exactly the same with all the other ones even the little small one and that you don't need a handle and everything there's no danger of them, them catching you just come in put the put the long point on the cutting edge isn't touching okay you like i can come in it's not touching until i actually start to go under and what all you do is push down on this end and go in and what it will do is it will go in and look that's a perfect perfect fit okay that's a perfect fit there so the bottom one on and just push down on here as you go in push down on that and that will give you don't have to go hard don't go mad and it'll slowly cut it and these stay sharp for ages because you only do that little little tenon they stay sharp for for ages because they're they're hard and steel so they hold that edge so there you go now i've got a 12 mil one <laughs> so give him a place to live there that's your house you stay there <laughs> right so there you go guys um loving me spindle gouge i've had another little sharpen of it um because if you watched the video the other day about it i did actually make up another handle because the handle i had for this i had this 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 one and i made a slightly bigger one slightly heavier because i wanted the toolbar to go further down i mean that that toolbar goes down to here so i needed a slightly a slightly longer one so i changed the handle on it i originally done that one to go with my bowl gouges when i want if I'm doing small, but I don't like a big long handle all the time. I only want a small handle, so I can put my bowl gouges in that when I'm doing shallow hollowing. Um, yeah, so very, very happy with it. Yeah, lovely, lovely tool. Very nice. But just be aware, guys, when you do buy it, I think it's actually, it's really bad because tool shops on the packaging, nothing tells you that you're going to need to sharpen that before you can use it. So that's a bit bad, really. So I just thought I'd let you, let you know that for new turners. So, right, I'm going to do another video in a bit. Um, do a little bot. Uh, those little tea light things, I've, I've <laughs> got a couple of orders actually come through for doing those tea light holders now. Um, yeah, so that was quite handy actually, putting that video out. I've got some work from that. Yep. So, I've got quite a few of them to do. Lisa wants a few more for indoors. So, I'm going to do a few, <laughs> few more little bowl bits. So I've got a bit of palm to turn. I've got those uh, natural edge bowls. I might do one of those later. And I'll show you the difference on the... Um, the actual 40 40 grind because i've got a 40 grind here it's not 40 40 I, I, I don't want 40 40 but i've got a 40 degree grind on this chisel um so i'll do a little bit of that um and yeah we'll just go through a few different cuts on things we get a bit more um advanced if you like uh i've done if you've watched my videos from when i first started we started off pretty basic, pretty basic things to do and how to use the carbide to get you used to the carbide. New turners, let's say experienced turners, look, there, there is really nothing of any interest for you here, okay? I'm talking to new turners that need to know little little bits and pieces. Um, so, you know, it's that's what it's, it's, it's just my way of turning. I'm not saying this is what you've got to do, not by any means. You do what you do. But if you've got trouble with getting cuts and that, this might help you and um, we're starting to get a little bit more um advanced with some of the cuts now for for the shear cuts and things like that and we go through exactly the way to present your chisel to get a proper shear cut not a scrape a cut and now you keep that edge on your chisel so you don't you don't want to be going back and having sharpened three or four times when you're making one bowl 
If you're making one bowl, you should, you should be able to get that off with one, one cut. Okay, one, one sharpen should be able to do you a bowl. So, all right, that's it, guys. And we'll go, we'll go through some of that. So I'll see you on the next one. Toodle pip. Bye, guys.